There's a lot of very intelligent people in this world that aren't believers. And listening to them talk, they have a lot of things figured out. Some people can be well-spoken. And, you know, if, if you read some information, memorize it, and then you can talk about it, it seems like intelligence. But what if that information is wrong? You know, like creation. Not just the earth, but about Adam and Eve in the garden. Right? Like, archaeologists might argue that, well, we all originated from Africa. Something like that, right? And they leave out the Bible and all of its wisdom and all of its truth. And it's hard for me to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's hard for you too, brothers and sisters, because once you know Jesus, you know he's the truth. He's the way, the truth, the life. He's Lord, God, and Savior. Born in a manger, one of God's names is Emmanuel, God with us. I think that's a very strong case for making Jesus God because he is God. I know there's Christians that don't believe that, and I'm confused about that myself. There's other places in the Bible where Jesus is referenced as being God, my Lord, my God, right? There's a lot of, like, to me, it's a slam dunk. And that's one reason I love Jesus Christ, because he's Lord, God, and Savior. He's amazing. So I'm ranting a bit now, but I'm like, when people talk about the world, whether it's politics or the wars going on or anything else, if they leave out the Bible and Jesus, they are leaving out the truth. And what they're talking about is man-made theories, just like Darwin and his evolution, bacteria, then fish, those fish grew legs, and blah, monkey men type things, and then man. No, <laughs> no to all of that. I used to believe in that, but to be honest, why did I believe in it? Because other people told me so, and people that were like in authoritative figures, like teachers and stuff, and peer pressure at school, right? No, like, I didn't know any, look, there was a couple Christians that I knew, and to be honest, they weren't on fire Christians, they were just like, go to church on a Sunday Christian, whatever, but... So brothers and sisters, we know that the Bible is God's word and it's full of wisdom. And what is wisdom? How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than, to, rather than chosen than silver? How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Much better. And to get understanding rather than be chosen than silver. How do you get that wisdom? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Wisdom and understanding. Don't people want this? Don't they seek and crave it? I do, and that I'm not being arrogant here. I'm trying to be humble with these videos because talking about these subjects, it's very important for people to know where they came from, who they are, who Jesus really is, and what he's really done, and how that affects the entire world now. With Israel having this war right now, I know a lot of people are kind of like, well, let's be looking up. Wars and rumors of wars. In James 1.5, it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given unto him. So if people ask God in sincerity, if people are humble, and you know, here's an example that I bring up sometimes. If you pray to God about something, a day goes by and nothing changed. Some people go, God's not real. He's not a genie that didn't grant me a wish. Like, God is not a genie. And sometimes we ask for things that God doesn't want to give us because we have lessons to learn about things. So if people ask for certain things, we all need certain things to survive in this world. I always know that. But when it comes for wisdom, if any of you lack wisdom, and a lot of people do because they leave Jesus and the Bible out of the equation, and that's wrong. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given to him, given him. In Ecclesiastes 1.18, this is very true, and a lot of people don't understand it. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increase in knowledge increaseth sorrow. Wise is a true statement because you learn what the world truly is and how many are on their way to hell and how many don't care and how many are sold out Freemasons. Freemasons are Luciferians or Satanists. They don't all look like Marilyn Manson. Even Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. So it's deceiving. And there's, there's wolves in sheep's clothing in the church, in the body. 
Well, I guess they're not really in the body, but they act like it or they try and seem like it. The deception in this world is great. We need wisdom, but with much wisdom comes grief because you go, wow, the world is run by Satan. It's fallen. It's satanic. People are sold out. Your idols and heroes, they're all sold out people. It's going to disappoint a lot of people and let them down. And when you increase in knowledge and know more about the world, you increase your sorrow. So like I've mentioned in the past, like I've dealt with mental health and depression and anxiety. I think most of us have in life because the life can be hard sometimes. Sometimes life seems like it's on easy street when things are going your way. And we should always be praying to God, not just in good times, say thank you and everything, not just in bad times when we need help and we need God on our side. We should be praying about everything. So now to the usual stuff. Dame Judy Dench. I hate I hate the like the the sirs and the dames. Give me a break. Judy Dench is on the Freemason checkerboard. You could even talk about the pillars, but the checkerboard is there. And she hides her hand in her coat, the way a Freemason would do. And she hides her hand in her coat, the way a Freemason would do. Homosexuality from Franco Snambot. Hides his hand in his coat, the way a Freemason would do. One eye symbolism from Ken Dukin. Homosexuality. And he does the Utara Bodhi Mudra. Brothers and sisters, can we see how these go together? The free base and checkerboard, the hidden hand, the hidden hand, homosexuality being like, you know, rampant in this world now and people are trying to normalize it. Hides the hand on the coat. Hmm, Freemasonry, homosexuality? Ken Dukin, an actor, doing one-eye symbolism, promoting homosexuality, and that is sin and abomination according to God. That's the, that's the standard. And he does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Does he have wisdom and understanding? Or does he have the false light of Lucifer in a biblical world where people can choose a path, walk with Jesus humbly, or be on the path to destruction and hell? Please decide who you're going to serve today. It's important. God bless you, everyone.